we're training women to look after um, their own coral reefs. When you train a woman, you train a society. In those um, communities that we target, the only um, source of livelihood would be the sea. So in a way, we are feeding the present and future generation. So when you conserve a coral reef, you're actually um, preserving the food, the protein that's um, in there, the fish and the shells. Most of the women are from the indigenous um, communities with no, not really um, a background in science, but you know, they have their local way of dealing with conservation. They take ownership of the sea. So we just go in and we, you know, sort of like learn from them and also impart um, the scientific um, knowledge to them. So that's the kind of um, connection that we make. One of the skills that we also train them is how to take pictures underwater, how to properly use a snorkel, wear flippers. We also teach them how to set up like a expedition plan, how to use a GPS, and they take pictures and they send it to town where you know we can see how the coral reefs are doing. To actually gain a recognition at that international level, that means that the work we're doing is really impacting lives. It should encourage us to do more than what we've already done to really get more results.